Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Golf Vlogs. Today, we have a special treat for you. We are making a very spicy Cajun dish, jambalaya. It's gonna be so great. Let's talk about the ingredients. For today's dish, it is very simple. We have red bell pepper, we have celery, we have onion, we have fire roasted diced tomatoes, we have shredded chicken, we have lump crab meat, we have raging Cajun and Dewey smoked sausage, Creole sauce, rice, garlic, pepper and salt. We have chicken broth and olive oil and parsley. And that's it guys. It's gonna be so good. Mise en place, that's a French term for gather all your ingredients and get them ready to go and measured out and ready to start cooking. However, everything's ready, but I decided not to dice up my onions just yet because I have this new Ninja Bullet, Ninja Bullet right here that I got for Christmas from my grandmother and I want to see how well does this actually dice up some onions. So we're going to throw our onions in here, see if they'll dice them up and we're going to get started cooking. All right. So this right here, I've been wanting to use since Christmas. I got this as a Christmas gift. I've seen a lot of videos about the, new, the Nutra, what's it called? A Ninja Nutra Bullet. Saw a lot of videos about these. Uh, they work really well from what I've heard. But anyway, we're gonna throw our onions in here and see how well it dices it up. All right, so onions in. Put the top back on, and like I, like I said, guys, I've never used this ever. Twist this back on. All right, let's try it out. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh! It probably needs a little bit of liquid. Maybe, I don't know. All right, let's take it off, see what happens. Ooh, okay, well, it's not exactly what I was expecting. However, it looks pretty good. It's not bad. We're gonna throw it on our chopping block, give it a rough dice. It did, very, it, did, it did a decent job, it's not bad. You know, but I want them a little chopped a little bit more finer. I probably could ninja, ninja bullet a little bit more, uh, but we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna throw this out here and see how well it did. I didn't do a bad job. It's not too bad. Nice, I don't want huge onions in my jambalaya that I'm making tonight. Woo, and these onions are so strong. Oh, my eyes are already watering. Maybe one more little rough chop. All right, guys, we are ready to get started cooking. Everything's ready, me some plus, ready to go. Let's throw it in the pan and start cooking because I'm hungry. All right, guys, so we got our hot pan. About a medium high heat. We're gonna add our olive oil. I'm gonna add our red bell pepper. Oh yeah, exactly what we're going for. We're gonna add our onion. And our cilantro. All right guys, so what we're gonna do over there are peppers. We have our olive oil, our peppers, our onion. We're gonna saute this up. Turn the heat down just a little bit because it is a little bit hotter than I wanted, which is fine. We're gonna add a knob of butter. Give it that extra flavor. This is gonna be really good. We're basically kind of searing these vegetables, get them cooked down, all the flavors coming out. This is gonna be so good. All right, guys, next is gonna be the sausage. All right, guys, so next we have our Raging Cajun and Dewey smoked sausage. You wanna kinda of cut them at an angle. Let me taste it real quick. Mmm. Woo! Oh, and that is spicy. Now we're gonna add the smoked Cajun sausage, which is so good. Guys, y'all gotta try this. I tried to cut them a little bit thinner. However, my knife wasn't that sharp tonight. So we had to do uh, a little bit thicker pieces, which is fine. Put the sausage in there, mix it up with the sauteed vegetables. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of garlic. All right, big old spoonful of garlic, throw it in. I really like garlic, so I'm gonna add a little bit extra. 
My can's almost empty here. Might as well just go ahead and add the whole can. Beautiful, looks so good. Mix all that up. <laughs> all right, I feel like I'm in New Orleans. I can smell the flavors, the spiciness, the Cajunness. It's gonna be so good. Next, we're gonna add our rice. We're gonna add our fire roasted tomatoes. Then we're gonna add chicken broth and we're gonna bring it to a boil. And then we're gonna add some ingredients in the end, which is gonna make it, bring it home, make it so good. What I wanna do next, I wanna grab a cup of rice, dry rice, one cup, and we're gonna pour it in here. Good looking fire roasted tomatoes that were in a can. We drained them for about five minutes. We're gonna throw them in. We're gonna add some Creole seasoning. How much? I don't know yet. We're gonna go for like a palmful, maybe. We'll see what happens. Sprinkle it around in there. Creole, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Let's give it that nice, this Creole will give this the nice spice that we're looking for in this dish. That's about enough. All right, so right here, look, we have the rice dry. Just throwing some dry, uncooked rice in here. Now what we're gonna do, and the garlic, of course, we added the garlic and the rice. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add two cups of chicken broth. Oh yeah. And a lot of this liquid will reduce out and it'll come thicker. But uh, hold up, we're gonna bring it to a boil. I'll show you when it starts boiling. Put it on simmer, put the lid on there and it's gonna be so good. All right, so this is coming to a boil. I'm gonna give it a little stir. What we're gonna do is, we are gonna put this top on top of our dish and we're gonna turn this all the way down to low. We're gonna bring it to a simmer. We're gonna let it simmer for maybe about 15, 20-ish minutes. Uh, by the time that it's done simmering, we're gonna add our final ingredients. All right, guys, so I was not gonna do this. Uh, however, uh, I decided to add a little bit of a side dish to our meal tonight, and I love bread. There's nothing better than bread and butter and garlic and Parmesan cheese. So I'll make a little bit of a garlic bread here. Just basically white bread, uh, butter, garlic. I did a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna grate some fresh Parmesan cheese. So, guys, if you don't have a block of Parmesan cheese in your house, I suggest that you go buy one because we use Parmesan cheese for everything. Everything, it's so good. You know, it's, just, it's amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and grate a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of this. And whenever we're done, we're gonna put it in the oven on broil and toast this up. And it's gonna be a perfect side dish to go with our jambalaya. It's gonna be so good. So next, we're gonna add our last ingredients. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so we're near the end for our dish. We're gonna take some fresh parsley and rip it off if we can. Right here, we're gonna do a little bit of a rough chop. All right, let's add our last ingredients and we are ready to start eating this amazing dish. So we have what we have so far. Beautiful, looks amazing, it looks so good. Give it a nice little stir, it's hot. Right off the burner, it's been simmering for 20 minutes. Now guys, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our shredded chicken, toss it in. We're gonna take our lump crab meat, which smells like the gulf, throw it in. Now this dish is hot, so all this will heat up within the dish. This pan's hot too, so I'm gonna go ahead and take all this, stir it up. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so freaking good. All right, now, what I'm gonna do, take a little pinch of salt. Not too much, just a little bit. And some fresh ground pepper. Now, we're gonna take some beautifully chopped parsley, throw it in there. Mix it all up. Look at that, oh my gosh. I cannot wait to take a bite of this. We already got our amazing looking garlic bread right here. Look how good this looks. Take a big old spoonful onto our plate. Look 
Let's try it out. Get a little bit of the rice, the peppers, the crab, the chicken. Look at this. Look at it steaming. Oh, dropping a little bit. Can you taste that? Mm. Oh my God, guys. This is like almost like comfort food. It's so good. You've got to try this. It's try our bread. Try our bread. Mm. You've got to make this. You've got to try it. It is so damn good. So damn good. Your family and your friends will be envious of you because you made this dish. And it's super simple. It's so simple. You've got to make this. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video tonight. We made jambalaya. We have garlic bread to go along with it. It is so good. If you like our videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. You guys ring that ding dong bell. That way every time we post a new video, you will get notified that we posted a video. Make this dish. Guys, we'll see you in the next episode.